What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give a like so that I can spread this to um, other uh, dividend investors out there. If they're um, interested in making passive income or if they want to learn more about Fundrise, they can find these videos earlier. So it is Fundrise Friday. So let's just see how things are going. So my net returns to date are $1,400.36. My, um, basically my account now has $11,700.36. The dividends are $128.64 and all time 733.81 appreciation 684.85. Not too bad. So let's look at these recent, uh, activities real quick that we found. So today is the 13th. And I did go over that information in Den Denver. Let's discuss this renovation uh, situation with new units and everything that they found. So the newly improved units. So here's a progress update. Renovations complete on Dallas area apartments. Newly improved units have leased up at better than expected rents, uh, helping improve a mindset rise in delinquent slash unpaid rent tribute to the can't say it. By the way, that countertop kind of looks like my work or my uh, place that I live in my apartment as well as a few other things, which is kind of cool. So, okay, in June 2019, they invested in the acquisition and renovation of the Law Logan Apartments, so 490 unit uh, apartment community in Bedford, Texas. It's located between Dallas and Fort Worth. So shortly after acquiring it, they kept kicked off a value add plan and basically they just discussed how um, the impact on it is with the investment so uh, they have experienced a modest increase in unpaid slash delinquent rent as a result of unprecedented economic stock caused by the COVID-19 oops I said it pandemic that said no one was certain how the event would impact the broader apartment market so we've been cautiously optimistic that such paid such unpaid uh, delinquent rent increased by about two percent in the month of april so basically they're just saying let's see how does it impact uh, the portfolio and the balance this investment is structured as equity which means that we are the owners of the property and entitled to our share of rental income plus any future increase of the value of property as an investor you expect to see this impact in your return in two ways any additional rental income would contribute to quarterly dividends, while any increase in property value would be captured in the adjustments in the growth E-rates, net asset value per share. So not too bad. That's on the 21st. So they're still actively doing projects, which is awesome for these guys. And, uh, you know, my rich uncle's account took a huge hit. I'm going to post a video on that in uh, Sunday. Um, it's not going to be a Sunday fun day, but you know, you have to be a patient investor with, you know, uh, accounts like Fundrise and Rich Uncles. I'm going to read you the article. Um, it's going to sting, but you know, that's why you got to be diversified. Here's a project, uh, progress update entitlement work completed on LA investment approved to build 17 new homes. This seems very pro uh, promising. So basically in this one, they're just saying how uh, the uh, pandemic might affect them. But basically, while LA has so far kept their planning and permitting uh, cities, our offices open, and it's reasonable to assume that the standard approval process may move slower as a result of the broader shelter in place orders. Additionally, the borrower could encounter difficulties obtaining construction financing in the event that lenders pull back until there is more clarity in the market. Either of these scenarios could delay the repayment of our investment to mitigate the risk of these unexpected delays, restructure this investment as debt. So we're entitled to fixed rate of return over the period that our loan is outstanding. Additionally, our investment is secured by the value of the land, which was recently appraised at 4.2 million. Boy, I wish I had that amount to date. The borrower has drawn 2.7 million of our 3.1 million loan, putting our current loan 
value at roughly 65% or 74% in the event they draw down the remaining 400,000, a considerable margin of safety in either cause. Overall, we believe the current return is 9% range secured by entitled land in one of the most supply constrained cities in the US represents a highly attractive risk adjusted return that should be resistant to an extended economic downturn. So let's look at this real quick. So how is that affecting my portfolio? Let's look at my balance right now. So the E-Fund is 23.4%. The growth E rate is 20.5%. The national E-Fund is 13.7%. So kind of banking uh, my portfolio on this e-fund and there's 192 active projects which is nice um, let's see let's look at this so right now the income e-rate is operating the growth e-rate is operating east coast e-rate is operating heartland e-rate is operating West Coast E rate is operating. Uh, Los Angeles E fund is ramping up. National E fund is ramping up. Income E rate three is ramping up. Income E rate two is stabilizing. And income E rate is operating. Growth E rate. So they got a few of these. The income E-rate 2019 and the growth one, we'll see how these start going, but they're really diversifying this uh, portfolio. So, you know, in the long run, it's it's all about the E-funds and, you know, looking at uh, to see how the E-funds are uh, going to, um, how they're gonna run. So there's some, some stabilized uh, commercials, just click the, Los Angeles e fund real quick. So I mean, here's here's the big ones here are these single family rental homes. This is what they're looking at. So these are starting to ramp up. And you know, once I start getting money from these e funds, that's going to be it's going to be really exciting. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what can happen with these home construction, single, single family rental home construction. I mean, there's a lot of these, so it makes sense why they're ramping up right now. And then let's look at the other e-fund. This is the thing that has me really interested in it, are these e-funds, the national e-fund. I think that's going to be a strong one, too, in the long run. So these rental homes and uh, I mean, you can make some money doing this. I mean, this is the nice thing about if you had single family homes, if I have the time and money to d get some of these single family homes, I mean, I just don't have the time. A lot, a lot of us don't have the time. That's why we invest in Fundrise and have them deal with that. So you now they're really looking at these uh, single family homes and uh, we got Georgia, California. So these national e funds have a lot of potential. Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm really looking into and have interest into. Now, in the long run, if uh, this looks really promising, I could switch over to the long term one. And uh, I know I'm in the balanced right now, but I don't mind. You know, I know it's a huge risk, but, uh, you know, these E-rates are really ramping up. So basically, when I was at $10,000, I kind of just said that's it. So, you know, this is um, it's kind of exciting because, I mean, every time you log on, you, you see that you're making money sometimes. So things are going in. So, you know, that's the nice thing about this portfolio. So I got about... Uh, 89,000 89, left to get to 100,000 and make a decision. So, you know, that's the exciting thing about dividend investing is, you know, the compound interest kicks in, you start reinvesting the dividends and your numbers start going up. So, you know, the sky's the limit 
I mean, there's a risk. I mean, rich uncles that took a huge hit. Like I said, I'll post a video on that. But um, things are looking good. I mean, uh, what do you guys think about the e-fund? That's my question to you guys that are big Fundrise fans. Is what do you think about the e-funds? Do you think that there's serious potential? And any of you guys that are in the long term investing, let me know what you think about that and uh, the potential of it. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the, uh, the uh, I think it's the Washington DC e-fund. So if you're in that one, let me know what you think. Um, thank you guys again for watching this video. This is Fundrise Friday. I will post another one next week about new acquisitions and you know about my portfolio. Again, I'm in the balanced investing. I'm gonna stick with that one. I like the dividends and the money from the e-fund. Uh, in the future, if I can somehow incorporate the Washington DC e-fund in a certain percentage I will do that in a heartbeat but um, right now you know I like where I'm at and uh, who knows they could switch me over with a balanced one to incorporate or include the uh, Washington DC e-fund but um, we'll see how things are going and uh, you guys have a, a good one I'm going to post another video probably in the next few hours on a stock analysis a stock that I feel very confident about and it's a hot stock so let me know what you think of this video and stay put if you guys are dividend investors i'm going to post another video shortly um it's going to be a lot of work so i need to brainstorm think what how i'm going to do this to uh try to not be as technical about the company and discuss some of the products they have because um you know it's 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 a very exciting company and there's a lot of potential for growth so Thank you for watching this video, and uh, you guys have a good one. This is Fundrise Friday. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If you're Fundrise fans or if you have Fundrise, every Friday I post videos, so make sure you search on Darth Dividend and hop on here. And don't forget to check out uh, my other uh, M1 Finance videos that I post on Monday because you know we all had to diversify a portfolio. So thank you again, and have a good one.